I think a lot of times during the year you see a lot of 500 freestylers that will double up in dual meets. They've been practicing this during the year, but if anybody is not going to affect, it's going to be him. That Chesterton's first leadoff leg did not get off strong off the dive in the breakout, and he is way behind. And out there is Castle. We talked about how strong they were going to be early. And now it's Tyler Fosk is going second. And look at the dive in the breakout. He made up half the distance there. And Chesterton started out with a 22-2-4, which is about right on what they had from prelims. But Foskis has made up the ground right then and there. Got him right back in it. He did. And he's a great relay swimmer. I love the guys that are team swimmers that, that go faster because they're swimming for the team. Now they're in front. And that's a 20-point... Six for Foskis, which is faster than his 50 relay time. Nice third leg here for Chester. Look at across the board. Across the board, we got five relays that are in it. And right now, when you've got Kyle Whitaker anchoring the relay, you're in pretty good shape. But watch in the middle of the pool. Watch Carmel make a run because that's Matt Girth that's anchoring for Carmel. Whitaker was strong under water work, even in the 200 free relay. He just loves to swim. The kid is just having fun. See ya. Girth is pulling up strong for Carmel. He's having a great swim. His technical skills right now look really strong. 124-39. The record at 123.75, set back in 94. So Chesterton first, then Carmel, then Bloomington South, then Fishers. Finishing fifth is Northridge. Sixth is Castle. In seventh, Brabuff. And in eighth, Munster. Uh, Chesterton at 151, Munster at 142, Fishers at 94, Bloomington South at 84, Northridge 73, Habitant Southeastern 62, North Central 56, uh, Seymour and Brabuff tied for ninth with 51, and then Franklin is uh, right there at 49. Again, Chesterton, your winner. 500-yard freestyle relay. You know, I, I'm looking at, you know, I'm watching some of the, uh, the uniqueness of the fans. I thought Munster has a kind of a unique tradition I just learned about. During the sectional meet, the parents kind of develop their own theme. And, it, you know, the kids have their own theme, but the parent group at Munster has their own theme. And on... Uh, the, the I don't know if it's during the finals or the prelims. They come out dressed up with their own theme to fire up their you know right. fire up the kids, and they've got they're a pretty good cheering group and a very supportive group for that Munster team. So they that's pretty that's pretty part of the team process in, in swimming is that you know when you uh, the emotions that come along with this and being able to maintain your emotional energy during this meet they thrive on what's happening in the stands too. Carmel receiving the runner-up medals now. Foskis, Whitaker, and company getting ready for the champions medals. You know, I don't care who you are. Those guys love that awards ceremony. They love having that, you know. Oh, sure. Don't just hand them the medals. The, the fact that they take the time to put them around their neck is kind of a, a special treat for those athletes. The handshakes... Well, I haven't been there as a coach and watched my son also have that opportunity. Uh, I could tell you it's a, it's a special, special moment. And even though our was red instead of blue in the 2A in the finals in, in football, I, having covered that for a number of years, I, I could remember being down there on the field, whether you know I did sideline reporting or play-by-play -play and wondering, boy, what, what that feeling must be like. And All right, well, I'm here with the 200-yard freestyle medley, uh, no, just the freestyle, I'm sorry, um, champions today. What's it like for your team? I mean, knowing that the points are double for this event, what's it mean for your team score? Huge in the point standings. We're like neck and neck with uh, Munster for second place, and that's our goal this year, so get top three, and we're right there, so it's huge. Definitely. And Kyle, you've had an extremely successful day today. You've set two records. Um, what was it like going from the 500 to, I mean, this relay here? I was really excited about it, you know, going from uh, the 500 longest distance to the shortest distance 50 freestyle, you know, and it being a relay, you know, it just makes it all that fun, uh, that much better, and uh, being able to compete with my relay teammates and uh, 
you know, our last event too, so I wanted to make it a good one. So congratulations, guys.